What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and today I'm going to show you the ultimate dash cam that I've come across. And I call it the ultimate dash cam because, well, this will replace your existing mirror in any car, basically, and give you that OEM style, that OEM look, that manufacturer straight from Detroit kind of look in your car. And that's awesome, especially because you don't have to worry about those rubber straps not fitting right. You don't have to worry about it looking like a clunky piece of, well, tech in your car. These guys at Nikumaku came up with the best idea yet, and I was always wondering why no one decided to do that. But enough talk, let's get into this OEM style dash cam review and check it out together. The specs of this dash cam are quite impressive as well. You get this beautiful 12 inch LCD mirror display. And if you just take a look at it, you can see that this is gonna look absolutely beautiful in your car. It's also gonna give you a larger mirror than probably what you have now, and that just equates to safety. Taking a look at the back of the dash cam here, guys, you have this sensor, a brand new Sony IMX335 sensor, which is gonna give you 2560 by 1440p. That's a 2K resolution, and the rear camera itself is gonna give you 1080p. But the main important one, of course, is this front camera, and that's gonna give you a very nice resolution. On the top of the dash cam here, this is where you plug in your GPS module. You have your SD card support. You have your AV. You also have mini USB right over there. And then on the bottom of the dash cam, this is your power on off just like so. And overall, I can tell you that I really like the way this looks. It's a very nice dash cam. They did a nice job with the design. I think it looks very modern, very sleek. And of course, just look how thin that is. It's not a bulky dash cam at all. Inside the box, you also get the GPS module. Here are those funny little straps I was talking about. So if you don't want to take the time, which I suggest you do, you can use these straps and just clip it into your existing rear view mirror. But why would you want to do that? You want to get that OEM stock look, am I right? And then this is your backup camera. Now the backup camera length is about 18 feet. You get an extension kit here, which I'm assuming is going to give you that extra 18 feet of length, because this doesn't look like 18 feet in total. So if you need extra length, it's there. If that's not enough, you can get extender kits. I'm gonna leave all the links to these products down in my description below. But 18 feet is probably enough for most people. Here's the way you're gonna power it up with your cigarette lighter. Now, of course, guys, this is why this dash cam is the absolute best. It's the absolute best one because, well, all you have to do is take out your existing mirror, slide this in that plate, and you're gonna have this OEM style dash cam looking pretty legit in your car. You wanna remove the rubber feet from the back of the mounting plate that already exists because we don't wanna use these rubber straps. We don't want this boring, same old look that everyone else has in their car. We want a professional look. We want an OEM style look. That's why we picked up this dash cam. Install this plate just like so. And then all you're gonna to have to do when you get in the car, one last step is just take these screws that they provide Screw this plate in and you're gonna get this OEM look straight from Detroit. Definitely a huge plus. So let's go ahead and remove this plate together. You just have to remove these little mounting clips. That was my mistake. You don't have to remove the entire back. You just have to attach this plate to where the little mounting brackets would have been. And then again, once you get in the car, this is gonna look super, super fly, guys. Just take a look at this. This is gonna look really, really cool. No one's really gonna know that it's a dash cam. I think they did an excellent job. And again, it couldn't be much simpler to install. So let's head to the car and check it out together. And there's the GPS chip, which I put right in my pillar, right in here. So you don't have to put it on the dashboard where they say 
You don't have to put it on the window. It works fine in the pillar. And then I also put a hard wire kit right over there, which just makes it super clean. That means there's no wires. There's no issue. It's just a really nice install. Super, super easy. And it looks awesome. All right, guys, so now we're in the car. I just want to show you, I don't have any power connected. I do have a hard wire kit, but I don't have it connected to a constant power source. I only have it turned on when I turn on my ignition. But as you can see, if you activate the dash cam, it has a built-in battery. That's very useful if you have parking monitor. You would be able to record what's happening when your car is turned off. But right away, let's just go over some of the aspects of this camera. I really like the split view, so you can drive with two views. You can see your front and your rear view. Swipe into the left, we'll switch your camera view. So of course, there's the front, there's the back. I have it a little reversed, but don't worry too much about that. Swiping again to the left, you have that dual pane. And if you swipe to the right, this is where you will see all of your recorded files. Just give it a second to load. So right over here, you can quickly just go ahead, choose a file that you want to see, and you'll hear it and see it on the right side. So again, it always has this split that I definitely like on this dash cam. Let's go back and I want to show you a couple of the cool features. So when you do tap on the screen, you get some more options that pop up. You get a little notification here that you do have GPS enabled and you do have parking assist enabled as well right over here You can see that you are recording in 2k and you can switch the resolution How much time you're recording and then you also get your date right over here. You get to see your camera Here's whether or not you have the audio enabled or not. Here's your GPS This is your speed and there's your battery right over there looking at the bottom You have a couple options so you can quickly turn on or off the microphone just by tapping it You can see it turns it on or turns it off take a snapshot right over there you can start or stop recording you also can lock the file if you want to let's actually go into the settings and show you what you can do you can quickly change the resolution if you need to so the highest is 2k you can lower it to 1.5 and 1080 for the back and there we go again highest resolution is 2k and 1080 next option that we have is loop record so going into loop record you can set how many minutes you want to record one to five minutes i usually leave mine on five minutes but it is just a preference Time lapse is super cool. Not only do you get some nice footage, but it also saves a little space on your SD card if you need it to. So you can choose anywhere from one to three seconds. Next, we have G-Sensor. And what G-Sensor does is if you get into an accident or you roll, it'll automatically start recording and save that file because, well, it senses that you're in an accident. Here's your parking guard. So I like parking guard. If someone comes up to your car, starts rattling it, tries to break in, it'll automatically start recording. And then the minute you open up your doors and you sit in the car, turn on the ignition, you'll get a little notification stating that, hey, the parking monitor recorded something. Do you want to check it out? And that's a super, super cool feature. I usually leave this on low just because I don't really want to get a whole bunch of false positives. Your license plate's pretty cool. You can write whatever you want. Of course, you can put in your actual license plate if you want to. Screensaver, you can turn that off and then you'll always be able to see your live video feed or you can have it turn the screen off in one to three minutes. Next, you have the option to choose how you want to encode your video. H.265 is a great option, but if you click on it, you can switch it to 8264. Next, you can turn on or off the speaker if you want. Here's your boot sound, so when you get into the car, you'll have a little chime or you won't. Your date and time is actually set from the GPS. Super, super cool. Finally, on the bottom, you can format. You can reset to default so you can see your version number. And this is something super cool. I actually like looking at the GPS test so you can kind of tell what's going on, how the GPS is, if you're actually connected, how many of the satellites you're connected to and how many you're not. So I definitely like it and you can see accurate up to one feet. Super, super cool. Time zone you can change. Now speed calibration, if you notice it's a little bit off, if you notice you're driving at let's say 50, but the GPS is showing 40 or it's showing 60, you can adjust that from within the dash cam itself. Next, what I want to show you, if you want to be notified when you reach a certain speed limit, 74 to 99, it'll just start beeping when you reach that speed limit. I usually leave it on 99 because I don't want to be alerted. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. And then that's basically it. You're right back to the dash cam again. This is a really high quality dash camera. There's a lot of settings in here that I have not seen on other dash cams. And the quality is super, super good. But let's just go ahead and check out the quality together. But I think it looks great. I think this is an awesome dash cam that's going to give you that OEM style look. Just take a look. No wires, no fuss, no problem. a lot of ways it's uh 
don't want to say a misused resource, but it's like giving monkeys guns. They just start, da, 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 da. They start gunning down things that are in front of them without any realization of what they're doing. They have a rock, they see a window, they throw it. Woo! 